academic writing and what are the expectations of an academic narrative essay? A literature-based essay is the exploration of ideas and concepts that you have seen in a novel are providing new light to. So specifically, with Lord of the Flies, we're examining the symbols that help readers gain a better understanding of the author's questions. Are humans really good? So what you need to know about your essay is the third person. That means you're using only third person point of view. No I's, no I believes, no you's. You're writing in complete sentences while using proper spelling and grammar. You're using MLA citations, a clear decisive thesis to get your point across, and a clean format for us to read. So with Lord of the Flies, when we get an in-text citation, that basically means we've pulled a quote from the text and we want to use it in our presentation of our paper. So specifically, the book says, Go back, child, said the head silently. So we know that this is Simon when he's having his hallucination, but that's not really important to this. What is important is that how we're going to include that in-text citation. We need the author's last name and the page number because otherwise we're presenting this information as if we said it and we didn't. Also, notice that I framed the quote. I've given our reader of my paper a little background information about what they're about to see. The pig head speaks to Simon in his hallucination. Quote, go back child, quote. Then in parentheses, I'm going to put the author's last name and the page number I found it. The punctuation for the whole sentence goes after my example. I have an example paper here for you, um, which is really nifty, and I'm going to link to you because it didn't show up properly the way it should have. But it sure is neat looking. As we move on though, in text citations, we look at the works cited. Our work cited is our list of complete works we used in our paper. So with a novel, you use all of the information you're able to find within the front page of a book. The Ms. V, you say to me. I'm not reading a physical book, I'm reading a PDF. Well, here is the citation. If you were a clever person, you might write this down somewhere, as it is the citation that I would use if I were you in my paper. Now, how do you cite a PDF? If you are curious, it is just like a web page. However, you would go in and instead of writing the print source as a web page, you would mark that it's a citation of a book. Um, but that gets a little complex and I thought, let's just keep it simple. So we're going to use this citation of a textbook. So with your essay format, you should have a combination of these things. Now I'm sure that you've been told in the past that you have to write in a five paragraph essay. I'm not sure that I strictly adhere to that, but I do want to see some of the basists. I would like to see an introduction and a conclusion. Beyond that, you probably ought to have some content in the body. Based on the minimum amount of paragraphs I suggested, you should have three or four body paragraphs. But again, you don't have to adhere to that setup. You have questions about thesis? Well, how about this?
academic writing. This has been your review. If you have questions about academic writing, please contact me or your teacher. Hear from you soon. Hope this helps.